So we're gonna head to our first fruit market. I'm just walking around hands free. I paid a local Thai man to film me. Thank you, so somebody. You indeed, that's, not, that's not how you say that. <laughs> so we're at Wang Mai. Mumbai. Mumbai market. And we're gonna check it out. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what's happening. Careful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Sawadee Krab. Sawadee Krab. Just in the market. What was that? Would you film? <laughs> Normally any noise and you have to comment on it. Yeah. So I just pointed the camera instead. So we saw a big bag of persimmons for 450 baht. I still don't know how much Canadian that was. It takes me like half an hour to make the conversion in my mind. I think Where we, we go going? this way. Alright. So we're looking for a big kilo, giant bulk bags of fruit. Big kilo? I don't know what the God hell. Damn. God damn it, Brad. Cut the God damn it. Give <laughs> him the many kilos. Here we go. Passion fruit, 150. For the bag. So those are the ones with all the seeds? The passion, yeah, but you eat them. You eat the seeds? They're chewy? It's a passion fruit, yeah. No, they're not chewy, they just they're just soft. They just dissolve. Really? This whole time? Big oranges. This whole time you're telling me. Oh man, they're not even like a real seed. So that 150 is for that bag? That's for the bag, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. That's a lot of passion fruit. Yeah, I might not want to carry that much. They're sour. It's not like you really want a mono meal with passion fruit. Mystery bags of fruit. Nice. The lens cap on. Looks beautiful. Beautiful filming, Brett. That was amazing. <laughs> it looks like guavas. Guavas in the bag? The guava. The mystery bag. And those papayas look orange and ripe. Tasty. <laughs> What did you get, Casey? I got two papayas and a free one. God a damn. freaking free one. <laughs> Imagine that. Damn audio ruiner. Ruiner of audio. Don't worry about the audio. <laughs> In Toronto, I would never, I've never once bought something, bought some fruit, and they'd be like, here, have this as well. Twice. I've been to two shops so far and they both did that. They're just like, oh here, have this extra bunch for no reason. They're just so nice here. It's amazing. How about a big bag of dragon fruit? Delivered by a dragon. It's not what You gotta pay for <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big deal. I'm a big deal here. Time millionaire. I said goodbye instead of thank you to the last woman. I'm working on it. Penises, penises, two ninety nine for penises. Well, Casey, as we approach the finale of your second day in Chiang Mai, mm -hmm. run us through your thoughts so far. <laughs> well, I've only seen the suburbs, and now we're in the heart of it. Friendly people, loud scooters passing you by, constantly gasoline in your face. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, about every three seconds you get a scooter or seven of them. Air quality. 
it's not the freshest air quality in this city, but out near Brett's, it's like mountain fresh. So pick your city area and you will breathe well, my friend. So I think we're done here. <laughs> oh, and it's hot. It's so hot, but in a good way, in a skin purifying way. You, you can tolerate it. I'm in long sleeves here. What's your excuse? Your Long sleeve, bitch. <laughs> oh, how dare you? <laughs> you wanna, you wanna get yourself a little watermelon to eight part pop? Whoa! How could one say no to that? They've really put that ten week old pineapple to good use there. <laughs> Creative the ties. Creative the. Yeah. These are the ones I've been warned against. Don't get the yellow ones. <laughs> but then Brett says the green ones are sour. Who's telling the truth? Who do you trust, guys? So tiny. Like my. Fifty bucks. Okay. That's a good deal, bro. It's almost one and a half kilo. <laughs> See, I didn't flaunt my millions. I'm learning. Don't flaunt your time millions, kids. It's not nice. Hey, Henry. Hey, buddy. Love you. Love you so much. <laughs> I got bread to carry my coconuts. All right, so we're done here. I got so much fruit, it's ridiculous. The abundance is what I love. Like you go, in Toronto you go and there's like five packets of grapes and there's two varieties and that's all you got. They're all unripe. But here there's like mountains. Everywhere you look, each fruit has its own mountain and that's just one shop and everything's affordable. So my bag is absolutely filled to the gills. I've got watermelons, mangoes, cut up pineapple. I could have got a huge bag of these. The rest for is nothing. here. They probably can't see it because you just went one big black man, black t-shirt, black boots, black shorts, black hat. You black bastard. That is so racist, <laughs> Brett. I can't believe you. I thought I knew you. I thought I knew you from the emails. Why am I holding it's completely the, different in real life? The heaviest goddamn <laughs> thing you got. So w let's walk around the block. Let's take the long way. I just want to look at some stuff. <laughs> These bushes, I've never seen those. Carry your own goddamn coconuts, boy. <laughs> okay, so we're having fun here in Thailand. We got fruit, abundance of the sun. The sun is a different animal. Video coming on that. Thumbs up if you like the sun. Thumbs down if you were the driver of this goddamn vehicle. <laughs> nearly killed us both. Ridiculous. We're done here. <laughs> Just a typical day here in Thailand. We got cows, cow traffic. Goddamn cow bitches. <laughs> you black cow bitch. <laughs> Why are you the only misbehaving cow. This guy's going for it. Look, you, you don't overtake on a bend. Crazy man. My God. I will follow him though, like a lemming. Bye cows. <laughs> <laughs>